Let's solve one previous question of mathematical logic. This question was asked in GATE CS 2021 set 2 question number 15. Choose the correct choice regarding the following propositional logic assertion S. So here P and Q implies R. Whole implies P and Q implies Q implies R. And four options are given. So in option it is asking about tautology or contradiction and antecedent and consequent of S. Tautology means it's all truth value are true. Contradiction means it's all truth value are false. And in option D, it is asking the antecedent of S is logical equivalent to the consequent of S. Let me check that first. So here antecedent will be this. P and Q implies R and consequent will be P and Q implies Q implies R. So let me first simplify the antecedent. That is P and Q implies R. We know X implies Y that is equivalent to negation X or Y. So here we can write negation P and Q or R. Again here we can apply the De Morgan law. So negation P or negation Q or R. After simplification we got this. Let's simplify the consequent. That is P and Q implies Q implies R. Now it will be negation P and Q. This is our X. This is our Y or Q implies R. Here we can again apply. So it will be negation Q or R. And in left side we can apply the De Morgan law. So it will be negation P or negation Q or then for Q implies R, it's negation Q or R. Now remove the bracket. It will be negation P or negation Q or R. So these two are same after simplification. So you can say both are logically equivalent. So P and Q implies R. It's the antecedent is logical equivalence to consequent. That is P and Q implies Q implies R. When both are equivalent, their truth value will also be same. So when left side is true, right side will also be true. So true implies true, it's true. When left part is false, right part will also be false as both are logically equivalent. False implies false, it's true. In case of implication, true implies false, it's false, rest it is true. So it's a tautology and both antecedent and consequent are logically equivalent. So answer will be option B and option D. Option A, S is neither tautology nor contradiction false. Option C, S is a contradiction. For contradiction, it should be false. But here it's true. This is one way we just simplify. Another way we can create the truth table. And from the truth table, we can check whether these two are equivalent. For equivalent, the truth value will be same. Let's solve by truth table. There are three propositional variables, P, Q, R. So there will be 2 power 3, 8 rows. So for P, 4 true, 4 false. For Q, 2 true, 2 false. Again, 2 true, 2 false. For R, 1 true, 1 false. First, we'll find P and Q. In case of and, true true is true, rest it is false. So this true true will be true, true and true will be true, rest it will be false. Next we will find P and Q implies R. So in case of implication, true implies false is false, rest it is true. So here it is true, it is false. This will be false, rest P and Q is false. So for antecedent false, it will be always true. Now P and Q implies R. It's true, false, rest is true. As you P and Q is false. False implies anything, it is true. Next we'll find Q implies R. So true implies false, it will be false. Here also true implies false, it will be false. Rest, it will be true. Next we'll find P and Q implies Q implies R. 
so true implies false it will be false rest here false false implies anything it will be true so p and q implies q implies r here just false due to this true implies false rest it is true now check this truth value they are same one true then one false rest all are true both have same truth value so we can say these two are logically equivalent so the antecedent and consequent are logically equivalent next we will check p and q implies r whole implication p and q implies q implies r true implies true it will be true false implies false it will be true rest true implies true both have same truth value true implies true is true false implies false is true both are logical equivalent so both have same truth value so that's why all are true as all truth value are true so it's a tautology so answer will be s is a tautology all truth value are true then its antecedent and consequent are logically equivalent as truth value are same you can solve any way either you can create the truth table or you can simplify it without using the truth table we can use the existence logical equivalence i already discussed how you can prove two compound proposition are logical equivalent without using the truth table just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you